Hello everybody, so in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to download and install Spooklementary shaders for Minecraft Java in 2025. So, let's get started. The first thing you need to do is go to your web browser, and I will have links in the description if you need them, but simply go to your search bar and type in a website called ModWinf, like so. Once you enter, you should see ModWinf.com, simply click on ModWinf, and you should be on the homepage for ModWinf. Now, simply go to the top of the website to discover content, and go down to shaders. Now, simply go and search shaders, and type in Spook Elementary Shaders. So, so once you click this, what you want to do is simply click the name of the shader pack, and once you're here, what you want to do is simply go in versions, and download Spook Elementary 1.1, so this one. Just click the green yellow button when you hover over it, and all you have to do now is simply go to a new tab and search up for Iris Shaders. So Iris Shaders, like so. Once you search that up, you should see Iris Shaders are dev. Simply click on Iris Shaders, and you should be on the Iris Shaders homepage. Now, simply go and download now, and click Download Universal Jar. If you cannot run .jar files, simply go on a new tab and type in JDK23. Only to do this if you don't have Java for Windows already installed. I will have this website here linked in the description if you need it. So simply click Java Downloads and click Accept All if you have this pop-up. You should see a website that looks like this. Now just simply scroll down and you should see JDK23. Simply click on Windows. If you're using Windows, and you should see x64 installer, download this one. It's the easiest one, so there you go. And you can now close your web browser once you have sorted out everything. Now what you want to do is simply go to it, downloads folder, so you can go to your file explorer, and go to your downloads folder. You might have a different downloads directory depending on your browser's default, but it doesn't matter in most cases because you might have just the default Windows directory here. So. What you want to do here is simply find Iris Installer and double click it. And once you did this, you should see an Iris Installer pop up if you have Java installed. What you want to do is simply click here and you want to make sure you have the right version if you want to play the right version. I'll just play 1.2.4 so I just don't choose anything else. Here you have Iris only or Iris with Fabric. This is for mods. And just do install. And here, once it says completed, just close the Iris installer and open up the Minecraft launcher. With the Minecraft launcher, we want to check if we have Iris currently installed, and we also want to add our shader to our shader packs folder. So here we can see that we have Iris and Sodium, all good, and we can go to the top of the launcher to installations, and we can we can go to Iris and Sodium here, hover over it, and go to the folder icon that shows up. Now, once you clicked it, you should see the dot Minecraft folder. All you want to do is go to Shader Packs here. You want to double click Shader Packs. And once you're in the dot Minecraft Shader Packs folder, you want to go to your Downloads folder. You want to select and copy Spook Elementary Shader. You want to go back to your previous folder using the top left arrow. And you want to click Paste. What we've done here, we've just copy and pasted Spook Elementary 1.1.zip to the dot Minecraft Shader Packs folder. Now, what you want to do is go to the Minecraft Launcher. You want to click Play. You want to make sure that Iris and Sodium is indeed selected. If it is, click play. Now it is just going to download all the required files and folders for Iris and Sodium to work. And then we will be able to activate Spook Elementary shaders in the following part of today's tutorial. So, in a couple seconds, we should have Minecraft that pops up, like so. And all you want to do here, once you have Minecraft that shows up, you want to either go on the round server or single player world. It's the same step and I'll just use a single player world for that. And all you want to do here is simply activate the shader. So here we can see that we currently have no shaders even though we added the shader pack because we need to go on escape, options, video settings, shader packs. You want to select spook elementary, it will darken and click apply. And there you go. We now have Spooklementary shaders currently active. So yeah, that's how we get Spooklementary shaders to work. And as for many shader packs, we can go to the shader packs 
over here again in this shadow pack settings where we can change different settings like profile high very high ultra potato we have all these can change so if i put ultra for example i can just do apply and we can see spook elementary like differently so here we can see that spook elementary has the same thing for most of the like programmings here but we do have sharper shadows and sharper water as well and it just makes everything a bit more higher detailed but for most profiles it's basically the same thing it is a very dark shader and it's meant to be a bit spooky indeed it is you know it's a bit foggy very dark a lot of clouds it's a wonderful shader for having a spooky ambience so yeah in today's video i showed you how to download and install Spooklementary shaders for Minecraft Java in 2025. If you liked today's video, make sure to like and subscribe, and see you for the next one. Bye!